What's going on you guys? This is Aaron from Departures Capital and welcome to the video. In this video, we're giving you guys a quick update on Monumental Minerals as they've announced some very exciting news. We're also going to give you guys a quick update on the stock, check in with the company, see how they've been doing in a couple quick minutes. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Last but not least, for full disclosure details, this is a sponsored video. So always check the description down below for full disclosure details along with thoroughly reading our disclaimer and always remembering that these videos are not financial advice. With that being said, guys, I bring in this update. Also, don't forget to leave us a like if you do support this channel and all the videos. Drop us a comment down below. Let us know what you think about the company. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And let's get straight into it. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was the fact that Monumental Minerals, which we've talked about in the past, and you can find our videos on Departures Capital, simply searching Monumental Minerals, Departures Capital, one about a month ago, one about two months ago, an interview with their CEO, and an update. So in terms of the stock, as we know, the market has been very shaky recently, but as the time of recording, and that is Tuesday, the 30th of August, we saw 748,000 shares traded with an average volume of 40,000 shares traded. So volume is definitely picking up, which is great, but I want to specifically talk about their most recent press release. And that news is Monumental Minerals signs letter of intent to acquire up to 50.01% of the Solar Deturi project from Lithium Chile in the Lithium Triangle in Chile. So as we know, the Lithium Triangle in Chile is one of the most prolific areas for lithium and has over half of the world's lithium. So let's take a look at this new. So Monumental Minerals is pleased to announce that it has signed a letter of intent to acquire 50.01% interest in the Solar Deturi project from Lithium Chile, located within the Lithium Triangle, about 120 kilometers northwest from the Salar de Laguna Blanca and 60 kilometers northwest from the city of Calama, Chile. The Lithium Triangle has over 50% of the world's lithium and it's a very prolific jurisdiction for lithium. As we know, lithium right now, super hot with the EV market, the demand for batteries. So this puts Monumental Minerals in a very great spot. The last thing I wanted to simply talk about was the fact that just prior to that news release, Monumental Minerals also announced that they are uplisting to the OTCQB. This is fantastic because upgrading exchanges, you know, it offers more liquidity. Investors have more access to the stock. And overall, it's just, you know, the evolution of a company. And these are usually good signs. So, yeah, I'm happy to bring you guys that quick update. Let us know in the comments what you think about that acquisition that Monumental Minerals has made. Also, let us know what you think about the market, but let's hope for the best, guys. I know it's been very bumpy recently, but um, stay tuned for more information on Monumental Minerals. And I'm excited to continue covering their projects because, as I mentioned, lithium right now is very hot. Along with rare earth metals, the company is in some very unique and exciting high growth sectors. Lithium, heavy rare earths. So it's going to be an interesting story as it unfolds, and we'll be covering it, guys. So stay tuned, and we'll see you guys in our next video. If you like these videos, kindly hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Drop us a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And finally, always remember, Departures Capital is for information, education, and entertainment purposes only. Don't buy or sell a stock because you heard it on here. Buy or sell a stock because you've done your research, you've done your thorough due diligence, and you're making your own personal investment decisions for yourself. This video is not financial advice. Furthermore, this video may or may not have been sponsored by the companies that we've profiled within this video, and we may or may not own shares of any of the profiled companies in this video. If you want to know the full disclosure details, check the description down below along with thoroughly reading our disclaimer. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.